all right guys I made it to the trails I've been having a hard time of it already I am at Triple Fork Reservoir and it is very low so let's uh, take a look at this real quick this is a little reservoir here and I need to go a little further down the road that way in order to get on a trail I thought there was a trail going across the dam here but I don't see it on the map so I'm not gonna I see a bunch of people walking but I don't know if that's a riding trail but I know there's a riding trail up the road here a little further so let's take a ride up the road see if we can find it and I know a lot of you think I'm crazy some of you might think I'm stupid some of you just might think I have a death wish <laughs> some of you might think I'm brave some of you might think other things but the point is the bike is only capable of what the rider is capable of and I'm not a very capable rider on single track obviously I've done one in my entire life and of course I found out later that that was one of the hardest trails in northern Utah so let me ask these guys they ride up here all the time hey guys well I'm I'm all right isn't there a little trail that cuts off right up here yeah. is that Mill Canyon trail We don't know the names, we make them up. Oh, okay. Like, what do you call it? We call it Berm Highway, or that one's just called Mud Springs, that's what it is. But if you go, are you talking about over the bridge? Yeah. Yeah, if you go over the bridge, there's a bunch of tight single trap. Now, is that does that have a lot of switchbacks on it? If you keep going up, and then when you get up and you can go right or left, if you go left, it takes you to those switchbacks that go up to a There's some pretty steep hills, though. Going on the first trail or the second one? Uh, it's the same trail. So you go up the bridge and then you'll go up there. And then we, we came down. So if you keep going right, that's pretty steep. I don't know what goes yeah. left. If you go left, it takes you to Berm Highway, which is the switchback. Oh. And at the top, there's like a bathtub. That's pretty low, though. You got to go up like two big rocky hills and then you turn left and then that'll take you to the switchback. And it'll take you to the top. I wouldn't be able to do it on that, but yeah. I've never ridden one of those. Well. I've done one single track in my entire life a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. I went up to the uh, reservoir up above Ogden. Oh, okay. Uh, that ben south, no. south, um, hell, I can't remember what it was called now. Anyway, it's right at the reservoir. Uh -huh. It cuts off the road right there, and it's like this. Uh -huh. And it's just switchbacks, and, you know. Oh, yeah. This it, is, it's pretty rough. I mean, if you've only done single track once, I don't know. Either, how are you going to learn if you don't do it? You're, uh, that's it if you want it. <laughs> I mean, you're never going to learn if you don't do it. Right. You go up the dirt trail, cross the bridge you see on the right, and then it goes through a river. Just follow that. You'll come up a big steep hill. If you go right, it's kind of like flowy stuff that goes around the hill. Okay. Um, there's a cliff edge on one side, so just be careful. On the, if you go left, it goes up and then gets into like some crazy switchbacks. Yeah. They're not that crazy though. I've been watching them on YouTube. No, they're, they're not crazy. They're not crazy. I mean, they look like they're pretty smooth little turns they're and it's a smooth crazy. trail, but you can like we fly in like third gear, like we're flying on that one. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I yeah. I'm going to be in first gear. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm going to be riding like a grandpa. Yep. I I'd you know. say go left then. That's the way to do it. I'd say go left if you watched that video on YouTube. Well, I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube including that last trail I tried and they make it look easy. You guys make this shit look easy on these bikes. Well, it, it weighs a third of what that weighs. <laughs> I don't know what that weighs. It's only 450 pounds. Oh, it is? Oh, these are like 240, so. Yeah. yeah that, so that one's what? It's only twice as much as yours. <laughs> this is probably the heaviest. And I only had to pick it up five times on the last single track I tried. <laughs> you know. That's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, go for it. Right. I'm going to try. I got to. Yeah, just go. Over, if you go over that bridge, there's. You just follow single track. Oh, you can get everywhere on this mountain. Right. That That's what I was kind of hoping. I was looking for trail 252. So yeah, see, we never know trail names. We just name them off of how they are. <laughs> well, <laughs> well it yeah, I hear you. To the ridge trail, you should have you should have heard the names I was calling that other trail. <laughs> 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 
All right, guys, have a good one. How far is it up here? Uh, about like a minute. You'll just see a wooden bridge on the right. Okay. And a little parking area. Oh, that wooden bridge, that's Trail 40. I've been watching that. Well, it links to every trail. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Trail 40 goes to all of them. I've been watching that. I know that's how to get there. It takes you up to the ridge trail, which links to every single trail. So that's what I've been looking for. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Y'all have fun. Be careful out there. Yeah. All right, guys. You heard it from straight from the horse's mouth. Trail 40. They said there's a little bridge to cross up here. That's what I've been looking for was that little wooden bridge that you cross over to get to uh, to get started on the trails. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any of these trails, to be honest with you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything at all, to be honest with you. But I need to find out. And there's my brother's truck, so he came to the same location. <laughs> there's my brother's truck, they're out here riding. All right, good. So I think I am gonna air down my tires to about 15 pounds, because just riding on this, just feels like marbles under my tires. Just like marbles. So I am gonna air down a little bit. I think I'll just pull over here and do that. Or I'll wait till I get across the bridge, one of the two. Now, I remember seeing this on YouTube, this little uh, gravel road that leads to the bridge. So, I'm not sure. I know there's a bridge. Oh, there it is. There's the bridge. It's uh, not easy to see. But this is Trail 40. So... After I get across the bridge, I'll let some air out of the tires. And then we'll go from there, but I think I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of hikers and stuff today, and that's fine. Look at this beautiful river, beautiful river crossing. I'm not gonna fly across this bridge. I'm gonna kind of take it easy because, like I said, I'm not real familiar with, boy, that's a pretty steep little get up right there but we made it all right I'm just gonna kind of walk across this bridge I'm not I don't want to slam my handlebars into the side or anything holy crap that's a big drop-off well I do have a skid plate so I just killed the bike <laughs> just killed the bike all right we're gonna stop right here a little little air out of these tires I believe that's uh, in order. If I can find neutral. Yeah, this is all marbly, rocky stuff. So let me get my air gauge out and air down these tires and I'll get back with you in a minute. All right. All right, I didn't want to start the video um, in the middle of doing a trail. I wanted to start it right where I left off. So here I am. I don't know how this is going to go. And to be honest with you, I am quite nervous. So let's find out. I aired my tires down to 15 pounds and I got to be honest with you, kind of feels like I'm riding on flat tires. So I am not used to balancing on slippery rocks and things of that nature, but it's a very good possibility that I will accidentally get whiskey throttle. It's a good possibility that I will drop my bike. It's a good possibility that I will get aggravated. Wow, this is really slick right here. I've never done stuff like this, so you guys have to understand. <clears throat> I don't have the uh, skill set that other people have for doing this kind of stuff. Not yet. But the way you develop a skill set is by just getting out there and doing it. And I know a lot of people think I'm stupid for doing this, but I bought this bike to enjoy it. And I did not want to have to 
trailer a bike to get out to where I want to ride. And I didn't want to just go ride in dirt. I wanted to be able to get out and do some things like this. And to be completely honest with you, the only way you're going to develop skills for doing stuff like this is to get out and do stuff like this. I mean, you're not going to develop skills for doing this kind of stuff by watching YouTube. You have to get out and actually try it. And man, this is a tight trail. It does, it's not as, e as easy as they show on YouTube. I just caught my foot on that big rock. Um, this is not as easy as they show on YouTube for sure. It, uh, God damn it. Bike wants, uh, come on. See what I mean about getting aggravated? I got nowhere to put my foot. Oh, guys, I may very well just be completely fooling myself with this bullshit because I just tweaked my damn hip again. Oh, son of a bitch. God, I hate that shit. You know, I may physically not be able to do this crap. You know, the, the spirit is willing, but the body is weak, as they say, right? So it's very possible that I just might not be able to do this crap. Oh, I got bad hips, bad knees. My back is not in the greatest shape. And every, half, every time I have to stab my leg to catch the bike, I end up half dislocating my hip. And that's not fun. So now that I'm on a, a soft spot, I mean a wide area, a wider area, let me, if I get up here on a little bit more level ground, there we go. I am going to straighten out my hip Wow, could you imagine trying to ride up that? Yeah, not this cowboy. Uh-uh. So this may take me a while to get up this trail, but like I said, I'm going to learn. may take me time. may take me lots of tries on different trails and things, but I am going to learn. I am just that damn stubborn. I haven't gone very far. I'm not really tired or anything, but my hip is hurting now because I had to stab it on that hill and then my other foot had nowhere to go so let me stop the video right here get my hip straightened out and then we'll continue on all right guys we're back got my hip straightened out hopefully I don't have to dab too much anymore that's what really screws up my hip it, it partially dislocates and that flipping hurts Let's see if we can go a little further. I honestly don't know how far up this trail I'll be able to go at all. Uh-oh. Here's that big root drop off. I stopped just before it. I really don't know how far up this trail I'll be able to go because, like I said, I am not a professional single track rider or enduro rider or any of that. I said watching this on YouTube they don't show all this look at this crap I gotta bounce over wow so see I've noticed something about videos on YouTube they cut out a lot of the hard stuff to get through and they only show the easy crap the 
parts where they can fly 70 miles an hour down the trail. That's the parts they show on YouTube. They don't show this garbage. Huh? Yeehaw. Yeah. Only my second time ever on a single track. Me. Yeah? They might be a minute behind me though. Well I might better just sit here. <laughs> All right, man. And have a good day. Hey you too. You guys make this shit look easy. That's because we're dumb as hell. Well, and you guys ride it all the time, right? I've only been up here three times. That's three more but times than I've been. Yeah, I did. Have a good one. Hey you too. idea how to do this. Well, I'm glad I got a skid plate. There I go sliding back down the hill. sliding back down the hill and there goes my wow I'm just sliding guys <sighs> okay I'm still sliding I can't <sighs> sorry about that but I have no other way to say it except that <sighs> my hips out of socket <sighs> bitch I'm telling you I am really sick of watching videos on YouTube showing how easy this shit is and when you come out here it's just boulders and rocks and garbage and you can't even get up the damn trail son of a bitch all right, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I can't go up. I can't go backwards. I need to try to do a kickstand pivot. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to be able to do a kickstand pivot that way. I can't get up over this damn rock. I'll high center on it, that'll suck. I can't go between them, my pegs will catch. All the ass end wants to do is spin. And of course, my foot has to find the deepest spot. Now I can rest, maybe. And get my hip to straighten out. Again, sorry about the anger, but uh, I want you to see this shit. Nobody shows this crap on YouTube. Look at this. I'm going to be honest with you in my with my videos. Look at this crap. Giant freaking rocks. Giant rocks. My front tire slid from here. Look at my skid mark. All the way down to here before I stopped. And then some gal was coming down. I was sitting right here and all the other bikers went around me this way. This gal comes down and she says, you might as well go up. She stopped right up there. She's like, you might as well come on up. I said, look, this is my second time on a single track. I didn't expect it to be this rough. I've tried to get up there. I can't. I'll have to try again in a minute. She says, well, that's not a good line for me over there. Um, 
can you back up and i looked i looked i looked behind me and i went seriously you want me to back up over all that crap i already almost dropped the bike twice so she gets all pissed off and then she goes right down here she just eases her bike right down here right through there goes around there and i was like yeah that was really freaking hard wasn't it experienced riders don't have a problem with this stuff but as i've stated i'm not experienced so this video might get either really long or become a two-part one of the two i don't know but in the meantime i'm just going to rest right here for a minute and uh well, let me walk up here i'm learning that I might need to just walk a trail a little bit, see what's up ahead. That's something they never tell you on YouTube either for beginners. And believe me, I am a beginner. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pull up here to this wide spot so people can get around me easier. This is really steep. And, uh, it's tough of course I'm muting the really bad language again so throughout this video when you hear nothing at all you'll know I muted the video because of my horrific language <clears throat> all right so we're gonna try shouldn't be too difficult I'm in bad shape but you know what I brought I brought my water bladder there's the end of it get myself a drink and uh, go up here a little further so people can get around me this bike is actually really high geared for this stuff be honest so I'm gonna let the bike sit here damn it I went too far oh fuck I want the kick sand to catch right on that rock right there maybe back a little further And I'm leaving it in gear so it doesn't slide and fall over on me. Beautiful. See, I'm in the deepest part of the hole right here. And uh, guys, I'm going to walk this a little ways. See what I can see. And then I'll come back to you. Alright guys. I brought a little tiny level with me. And my camera is now level. Hopefully, this will show you how steep this is. My camera is perfectly level, up and down, front to back, and across the top. This is what I have to go through next. So we'll see if I can make it. I don't see how, but that's just some of it. And again, my camera's level. But let me tilt it up so you can see what else I have to go through. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, guys, to be honest. We're going to try it, though. All right, guys, I just spoke to some passerbyers as I was walking back down to the bike here. And they said, that's the last rocky section. And it's very, very steep, they said. And I could tell it was very steep. So... They said once I get through that, the trail smooths out. And uh, so I have two options. Either forge onward and hope I get through that, which I may not. Or turn around and go back down, which right now would be the time to do that. I'm in a very wide section. 
I could easily, well not easily, but I could probably turn around right here and head back down, but then I got to go through all that bullshit again. Um, I'm not sure what to do guys. Like I said, I may not be in shape for this kind of stuff. My hip is dislocated three times already and uh, I have to keep dabbing my feet to keep from dropping the bike and it just puts a lot of pressure on that left hip. So I may just have to admit that this is not my thing. And if I do that, that's okay. There are plenty of places I can ride on trails and stuff that aren't like this. I cannot believe this one guy told me, he said, dude, you picked one of the hardest trails out here. I said, well, I was watching it on YouTube. It all looks smooth and flowy and just nice soft dirt. And yeah, nobody shows you this crap. <sighs> I get so tired of that. I like YouTube, but I'm really getting sick and tired of people not showing you the true facts of things. I see there that ignition switch goes again. Having a hard time getting it going. All right, I'm in first gear and uh, we're gonna just creep forward and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know if I can get through that next rocky section or not. This is a hell of a workout for me, I'll tell you that. It's a hell of a workout, like riding on marbles. And I'm more than likely going to drop the bike or catch my foot on something and break my damn foot. That's what I feel like is gonna happen. Man, this is steep. I have no idea which side to go on here. I whiskey throttled the shit out of the bike just now and I almost dumped it again. Really? God, I'm so sick of this bike sliding backwards every time I come to a stop. Jesus Christ. I'm either whiskey throttling it, or spinning the tire, or damn near breaking my hip on this shit, or something, every time. I honestly don't know if I can make it up here, guys. I mean, it's... Let's just kill it right here for a second. I'm telling you, this is a workout, guys. Holy crap. Just that little bit, my hip's out of place again. Huh. I don't know if I should stay to the right or go to the left. I like to be on the right where I can put my left foot down and I got a hill to put my right foot on. Because if I go to the left, sure enough, something's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to put my right foot down and I'm gonna step in a damn hole and drop the bike. I can see it coming already, but apparently right up there where that big tree is is where it smooths out. I don't know, but I gotta rest again for a minute. I know it's only been a minute for you, but it's, or a second for you, but it's been about 15 minutes for me resting. Look at this crap I gotta go through. And then there's a switch back up here. I just watched two bikes go up there and they, there's a switchback right at the top and it looks pretty steep so we'll see I think I'm gonna stay to the right here because I want to be able to put my foot down if I need to and I did see right there I needed the dab right there that's why I went this way uh, bike just wants to slide backwards every time I stop. This is really, really steep, guys. I am not good at this. So I'm baby stepping it because I do not want to drop this bike on these rocks. I'm riding the clutch. I'm baby stepping it and I'm not sure if I need to go straight up that way or go to the left uh, let's find out when we get up here a little further we're gonna go this way well kill it bill step in a hole bill son of a bitch God. that is so aggravating guys there goes my hip again every time god damn it all right, son of a bitch, Fuck, really? 
God damn it! The bike is in gear and it's still sliding backwards. I gotta try to get up to a little bit more level ground here. Just gonna burn the clutch a little bit. All right. And we're just gonna stop right here. Son of a bitch. Whew. I can put the kickstand down here. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Oh. Does this trail get any easier? Huh? Does this trail get any easier? I just came up this way. Yeah. Does it get easier? Same. Sometimes. Sometimes. Huh. That's not what I want to hear. Is there any more big rocks like this? Yeah. Oh, damn it, I don't want to do that then. What about this one's easy? I think this one is easier, and then you can come down that way. Does this go up? Yeah. And it's easier than this crap? It's kind of similar. There are some parts that are kind of difficult. Yeah? yeah. But not as difficult as coming up there. Um, same. Actually, yeah. Really? Yeah. Just as difficult. Yeah. But there's some uh, stones and stuff. But not like this, right? Did you see the crap I had to bring this bike through coming up here? <sighs> well, I think it should be fine going that one, but yeah. Because I thought on YouTube they show that once you get through all this crap down here, this trail gets nice and smooth. Right here? Not that one, this one. This one? Yeah. Okay. And the, yeah. The only thing is that once you reach like kind of the top, yeah. you just gotta uh, make a U turn and come back the same trail. So this one does have a lot of uh, stuff like this. How, how much further is it to the top on this one? Uh, I would say a couple miles. A couple miles? Wow. I think this is this is only a mile, right? You don't necessarily need to go to the top. Oh, is another mile. The top is another mile? Yeah. The An top top? Yes. Another another mile of this shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda? Yeah. That's not very clear. <laughs> I mean if it's as bad as this, I don't want to do it. But if it's just a couple of little spots like this, then and the rest of the yeah. trail is just a couple of little, I mean, have you guys gone down this trail? Yeah. All that rocky shit? Yeah. yeah it's not like that up there, is it? You got some parts of it, uh, and then, but as I said, this one, if you take this one, you will find a uh, whole much uh, space to go smooth, like this trail. Yeah? Most of it's smooth like this? Yeah. And it still goes to the top? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, when I get up to the top, I'm finding a road. <laughs> this is only my second time on a single track. And I have to pick the shittiest one. Go figure, huh? I just, I just found out from another guy that rides this all the time that this is one of the hardest trails out here. He said this is one of the most difficult trails in this whole area. And of course I had to pick it for my only my second time ever on a single track. I have to pick the hardest trail in the in the area. Just my luck, right? Yeah. Well, I'll find out when I get up there. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way. I think I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna take your advice. 
I'm gonna go this way. You guys going this way? No, we're going down right now. You're going down? Have fun. <laughs> I'm not going down that. Uh-uh. I had enough hard enough time getting up. I think it took me over an hour. But look at what I'm fighting. Yeah. This everybody says these aren't made for single track or for doing this kind of stuff. The way I look at it is if, if the rider can do it, the bike can do it. The bike is way more capable than I am. Yeah. If a professional was riding this bike, he would have already been at the top. Yeah, of course. You know? Yeah. Bikes are way more capable than we give them credit for. It's my abilities that suck. <laughs> All right, guys, have fun. You don't mind being on YouTube, do you? Right on. All these guys make this look easy. All right, guys, I'm going to take my helmet off and look at my little map that I have, and then uh, we'll go from there. See, this is what I was learning. This is what I was learning how to do. I was learning how to do this on this bike. Yeah, I'm learning how to do just that. So in case I need to, I can spin it around, you know? Well, you did about as good as I would. Huh? You did about as good as I would. I'm <laughs> trying. An expert. This is like my fifth time riding. Yeah, I'm learning how to tilt my bike over, stand beside it, and tilt it over, and just dump the clutch and spin it around. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. That's why I did it. You have to. You have to put it, lean it way over, and put yeah. it against your hip. The way he did it. And hold your front brake, and just throttle, and and make sure your tires turned. And just throttle up and dump the clutch. Don't let the clutch out easy. Just dump it. The tire will start spinning and you just push it around with your hip. Yeah. And as soon as you get it where you want it, you just pull in the clutch. Okay. Yeah. 